Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. Should change it to Ass Hat Vidcast. 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 Has a good ring to it. Anyway, this time it's not a VHS, it's not a DVD, it's not a Blu ray. <laughs> this is a. Everybody who was reading comics in the early 90s remembers Wizard Magazine. Some of y'all comic fans out there remember Comic Buyer's Guide, the Comics Journal, you know. There was always been like comic news magazines, I guess is the best way to describe it. Hobbyist magazines. This is Arena Magazine. This is issue number five from September 1992. 350 cover price. We got a big ass image of Tribe on the front cover. Image trading card inserted. I don't remember if my copy of this came with it or not. Caliber Press thumb screw. Comics, gaming cards, and much more. This is done by uh, Larry Stroman, of course. All right, let's see what's in here. This was like Wizard, but this covered a lot more indie shit. Like, like Cry for Dawn, Youngblood Strike. What was that series? Youngblood Strike. Young Blood Strike File. Oh, that was like their little hot mirror who's who's. Like I said, this is on cheap newsprint. It's officially listed as published by Arena Magazine. But it's connected to one indie company. I can't remember the name. I'll know it when I start seeing the ads. It's been a little bit since I looked through this. I found this at the local comic shop in the cheap ends. All right, like Acid Rain Studios, Caliber Press gets a lot of information. Eclipse. Everybody remember Eclipse? I mean, who out there remembers Eclipse for anything besides Miracle Man? Raise their hand. My hand's up in the air, since y'all can't see it. Uh, see the shadow? That's the hand up in the air. Sandman artist and co-creator team up. Mike Durgenberg, co-creator of Sandman. Blah, 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 blah. One of the forces, two other creators, bring forth a new series without a mask. Coming soon for Caliber Press. No clue if that came out. And the other, you know, Dark Knight's Bane, Green Arrow, Year of Wonder, Sudden Impact, and Crucible. That's when the impact line was ending for uh, DC. Gaming and Death talk about AIDS. That was that insert that was in like every Vertigo title that month. Because <laughs> it, it got a little controversy. Because there was a scene where Death was put, showing people how to put a condom on by using a banana. I, I don't get it either. The new Vertigo line. They're talking about the Vertigo line. Oh, so many great titles. I mean, when it started out looking, you had Hellblazer, which was usually fairly good. Sandman, which at the time I went to Vertigo, was still, in a good, was still fairly decent. Doom Patrol, which was great. Animal Man, which was great all the way to the end. Swamp Thing, which you know, was up and down. Slay the Change of Man, I need to read more of. But just a great little lineup. You got some Dark Horse news. No idea what that is. Malibu news of Air Man. Velvet from Adventure Comics. The image update as always. Blah, blah, blah. Spawn. Wildstar. I liked Wildstar. I wish it had come out more. Kitchen Sink, Millennium. Wizard never talked about like Millennium that much. Malcolm X controversy will only get hotter, huh? Marvel News. Mm. What are you missing? It's advertising the back issues and probably a subscription. Yeah. Oh wow, they actually expected this to last a long time. They're offering two year subscriptions. Mirage News, Ninja Turtles, Parody Press, Spit and Image Update, Sky Comics. That's who I'm pretty sure is behind this because Sky gets a lot of focus and they have a lot of ads in here. Tundra, Warp Graphics, you know, I mean, like I said, all these different companies, Spotlights on Thumbs, here's some really good art. This was Caliber. Caliber usually we have put out pretty good stuff. I've started slowly picking up a lot. And then we get to the big Tribe interview. Now, Tribe was uh, Larry Stroman and Todd Johnson. And it was Larry Stroman. I can never remember the guy who helped him on it. They're a big jump from, well, hit up for Larry Stroman, basically. I don't remember the Todd guy from anything before this. Their jump to Image. It lasted like two issues at Image. And one or two of the company they formed called Axis Comics, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, Axis Comics. But, oh, Comics Interview. Great little magazine. I need to get, dig some issues, of, my issues of that up. I've got one or two still left. And just Larry Stroman artwork. I've read the two issues of this. If I'm, that can't, I've read two issues. I'm pretty sure it's both the image ones. Oh, 
Young Dracula from Caliber Press. They might be connected to Caliber then, but Sky's probably connected. See, Sky. Huge ad. Sky. Skylight. Advertiser, I'm trying to say. Sky has a huge. Huge. Whoa. Okay. Whew. Thought I actually showed some nudity there. Whoops, sorry. Heroic Publishing. They did Flare and what, Chrissy Claws and all those crazy ass comics. Comics now. It's like a little news thing. Hey, there's Wildstar. UK Comic Con. 92. Preview from Fat Dogman for of Fat Dogman Men, Mendoza. Industry News, Warp Graphics. Universe Predator, Superman. Diamond acquires Titan distributors. Wow, I did not know Diamond owned them. Okay. Marvel's Mad Dog bites Malibu. Word and Pictures Museum. Interview with Sam Keith on Darker Image. Whew, that lasted one issue, and his piece of it was very small. There's Smacks Art. That's always nice. The business of comics. Point counterpoint on. Thesis, Marvel Comics is past its prime and not in touch with the needs of the modern fan. Mm, what year was this? 92. There was some okay stuff coming out of Marvel in 92. It just wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot coming out of DC proper either at the top. Oh. Brit Bits. Hey, though, we got Death's Head too. There's some Madman. Hey, Spotlight on Madman Adventures. Was that? Okay, Tundra. Stop! Flip it! And read the latest in gaming and trading cards. So we stop. We, whoa, we flip it over. What we got here? We got Tales of the Lance. Is that related to Dragon Lance? I read some of the Dragon Lance novels years ago. Museum Repl Replicas Limited. How do you like your steak? Strategic Knights, Creature and Characters, blah, blah, blah. Gaming News. 93 Gen Con updates. Ooh, 93 Gen Con. Never got to go to a Gen Con. The Game and Fools Review. Tales of the Lance. Hey, you got. That's out of five. That ain't bad. If it's out of like 10, that ain't amazing. Role playing principles, why now? I don't think I've ever really read the game inside of this thing. Trading card news and empires throughout the history. Spider-Man keeps a collection, a new trend developing. Zombie for Christmas. Hot collector card news, pinnacle by score. That was like scores upper class line, like tops had with top stadium club. I'd already gotten out of baseball cards by that time. Basketball card delays. Skybox solicits Archie cards. I need to find a full set of this. None of that Skybox stuff costs anything anymore. You can find full sets cheap. Some letters. Okay, so the game inside is short, but Neat little fine like I got out of the cheap bin. I was like, hey, might have some inf interesting information on Tribe, and it actually does, but that's it for this time. Hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.